Hi, baby. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A third one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you? Why do I feel like I'm being ambushed? You're my man. I'm allowed to ambush you anytime. Thank you. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you had company. Oh, now you know. Well, this can wait because I have an important message I would like to pass. And your message can wait. I'm just doing my job now. No, is being stubborn part of your job? Mr. Sidney, what do you have to say? too often okay your personal assistant flaunting herself around you and she being so gutsy to talk back at me look I know her kind and I know how to deal with people like that I don't know why but from the very first day you met her you disliked her well, that's because she's always been rude to me you don't seem to do anything about it it's just the heating knees are waiting to explode really well, the next time she finds herself unannounced in my presence, trust me, I'm standing in front of her. Really? Yes. Ice what are you doing? Being a good Samaritan, you know, like in the Bible. Oh, heck no, this girl is not riding with us. What am I supposed to do? Listen to you or do the right thing? I mean, you don't expect me to leave my PA stranded on this rainy and cloudy day. You know what, Sydney? This PA boss thing is starting to get on my last oh. nerve. If this chick comes into this car, I'm out. Get him. Abraham the mechanic. No, yeah. not today. That is Betty's birthday. What will I do? Just don't worry, we will deliver the cake regardless, okay? I, I just wish we could we could get a mechanic workshop around here. Mechanic? This is an estate, okay? They don't drive Jalopy here. They don't drive to Kumbo. They drive chassis. If there's a problem with their car, they take it to the service company. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I, I, I think we'll have to push the car to Betty's then. Push? Oh God! What did I do? Why me alone? Why? 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 Why punish me? Why? Would you marry me? In the middle of all this? Yes. It makes it more worthy. Come on. Thank you. Come, come, come. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello, Betty. Happy birthday. Don't forget. Hey, thank you. Look, I'm in your estate, all right? Okay? Our car broke down and uh, I'll soon be with you. <laughs> Wait, you have a car? <laughs> don't mind me. Do you want me to pick you up? No, don't worry. Okay, your cake was me. I'll be with you soon. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you soon then. I saw. How dare you push that matchbox into my estate? I hope nobody saw you. Thank you for your welcome speech. It typifies you. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is from him to you. Right. Yeah, from me to you. Happy birthday again. Yeah, Josh, I've always known you to be very good with your hands. Is that how to say thank you to somebody who stayed up all night to bake you this? Bake me what? This? <laughs> this tiny? <laughs> okay. Thank you. I know you, my sister, the ice cream. Ice cream? Must you steal everything from me? Everything? Yes, ice cream. That's my word. Oh, so does the iceness has anything to do with your skin color? Skin color, yes. See, that explains why I live in a fantasy world and you live in the slums. Look, you are good with deeds, but to balance the equations, you're bad with words. Wow. You know what? I was going to compliment you, Dred, but you ruined the moment. Betty, what will it take you to say that I love Josh? See, I needed a sister's love, a girl's time. Must you carry your handbag with you everywhere you go to? Look, today is your birthday. And I would want a very peaceful time with you. But I won't stand and watch you objectify my man. Any man who makes himself available whenever he's needed is an object. Consult your dictionary. Look, he loves me. I love him. And he respects me. Yeah. And what else can he offer you other than love and respect? Oh, but wait! Come to think of it, that's what you need. You need love and respect to make you look good and actually look your real age. And listen, I really honestly was going to compliment your dress, but I guess he has no label. He does have a label. Really? What's the designer's name? The yeah, Abeliki. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Oh, she's a tailor. She made it and she has a shop. Right. Ah, ah, excuse me. Hey, 
Happy birthday once again. You already said that before. Oh yeah, I'm saying it again because your birthday brought nothing but joy to me. How do you mean? Josh proposed. He did? Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be happy for you? Of course you should be. Your engagement ring has no rock on it. Rock? What do I need a rock for? An engagement ring without a rock is not an engagement ring. Well, thank you for the sermon. True words are unspoken. And you're my sister and I want the best for you. See, that's why mom has a problem with you. You don't act like you're one of us. And how you're giving up on life still baffles me. I can't seem to wrap my head around that. You're a young lady. Make use of your youthfulness. I don't understand why you keep saying you're giving up on life when you're not even engaged. birthday to my favorite girl it's your birthday you just make a wish and watch it come to pass oh mommy all i need is a big hug from you right now uh-huh i just arrived lagos and there's something i'm dying to share with you but i'm so excited i'll be meeting your man today your trophy fiance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first of all he has to look his best that's the first rule. Yeah, first impressions, they say, it sticks. Uh, wait, mommy. Did you say you, you were meeting my mom? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. You know, you promised that you're going to be unveiling to me your Prince Charming on your 30th birthday. Yes, darling. I'll be seeing you in a jiffy. Uh-huh. Bye. Do you have a boyfriend? No, ma. I'm a virgin. Don't be dumb with me. The fact that you're a virgin doesn't mean you don't have a boyfriend. Yes, madam. Why will I have a boyfriend? I can't still be virgin. It's just to let you know that you need to value your self-worth and not be a sex object to any man who comes pretending to love you. Okay, ma. Let me not lie. I have a boyfriend, but I'm still a virgin. Keep the virginity part to yourself. I don't want to know. Can I see your boyfriend? Yes, ma, but oh, hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I just want to see him. Do you have a picture of him? Yes, but isn't that my other phone? The one that fell into the pool. The day I was cleaning. Okay. Um, is your boyfriend on Instagram? Social media. Oh, social media. Madam, but social media is in the village. We call it social meeting. And it's only once a year the world where all the people from Obodo, Ibo, Jamaica, eh, eh, Kutunu, Ghana, everybody, they come. You know, if oh. I had a gun right now, I'd have shot you for not knowing what Instagram is. How can you not know what Instagram is and you're in my kitchen cooking? Sorry, madam. But if you want to see him, I can ask him to come. He works in the estate as well. Mom, 
my Feli Feli. Mm. Hey, Felicia the Felistic. Do you want to come inside? No, I'm a virgin. You are a virgin? How are you a virgin? I don't understand. Uh -huh. My madam says she wants to see you. Come in. Hello, damsel. Did she tell you who I am to her? Your girlfriend, I mean. She said you want me. I'm capable. I am here. <laughs> she said I want you for what? I don't know. <laughs> Just say it. Whatever you want, I will do for you. <laughs> if you don't leave my side this very minute. Hey. Go. You don't want me again? Listen, I don't know what she told you, but what I know is if you don't leave this room right now, I will report you to the estate management. It has not got into reporting to estate management or management estate. It is. I said leave! Very aggressive. Bro. What did you tell your boyfriend? My boyfriend? What am I doing there in a minute? Felicia, I don't want to have to ask you twice. But I said, I didn't tell him anything. Felicia, isn't she too old to be treated this way? Annabelle, if you commit the kind of crime she committed, I will treat you this way without even considering your age. Sorry. If this simulation continues, I might just lose me. No, just stay calm for me, alright? I'm not done. <laughs> you have no business with my family's problem. You actually have not seen the worst of it yet. Josh, can I borrow my sister for a minute? Baby, if you need my help, just beckon on me, okay? Of course. That's why you're here. That's why you're here? Really? That was a rude thing to say. <laughs> Everything sounds so rude to you. Look, Betty, that's my fiance, okay? At least be nice for the weekend. Annabelle. I might be a lot of things, but being nice isn't one of them. But I insist. Okay, fine. Now shall we? So mom called. So what do you want me to do with that piece of information? Well, she's gonna be here soon. Okay. If you want me to give you space because your alpha mother is coming, just let me know. Don't you want to tell her about your engagement? No. It's my own time. Annabelle, she's your mother. Our mother. <laughs> the mother that never liked me from birth. They didn't care who I was. They preferred you. Her biracial daughter to me. You know what, Annabelle? I think you both should squash whatever differences the two of you have. And don't think she likes me more because I'm mixed race. Um, yes. Okay. Why do you care? It's not like you like me either. Well, I just want you to know that I'm. Sorry for everything. 
and to tell you that I'm actually very jealous of you. Jealous of my penny, right? Annabelle, today's my birthday. Mom is dying to meet my man and I don't want to feel her. Okay. So what do you want to do now? Can I borrow your man? impression before mom and I promise everything will be under your supervision. Look, I do not want to be part of that pity party. Alright? I don't. And you know that women don't fight fair when it comes to men. Annabelle, I'm your blood sister. I can't steal your man. And you shouldn't have conceived that in the first place. It's my birthday. Come on. Help me make this memory. Please, help me make this last impression before mom. She regards him as my trophy fiancé. I do not care what she regards him as. Okay? I am the only one who is meant to flaunt my boyfriend in the presence of my mother. Annabelle, mom doesn't care whether or not you have a man. But with me, she will cringe if she finds out that I'm single on my 30th birthday. And for the fact that the person she's been speaking with over the phone dumped me a day before my birthday. Come on. Why don't anyone put me into consideration? Why? And to think the same guy whom you said is not up to standard to me is the same man you want to flaunt in the presence of my mother. Oh, come on. That was sickening. Don't do it. You, if you want me to go down on my knees and beg you, I would. Please. Just do this for me. My man is not for rent, I have told you. So stop it. So I'm now an object that travels from one hand to the other? She only asked to borrow you. She only asked to borrow me? That's what you say. Your sister has no iota of regard for me. And she has gone all out to shove it on my face. Look, regardless of what she has done, you don't need to judge her based on that. Right now she needs our help, that's all. And remember you preach love. So act it. She needs our help and we need to do it. Listen, this battle is beyond us. So deadly a risk to take. What's the risk? Are you scared that you're going to fall for her because she's an outcast over me? You don't even get what I mean. Listen, we have to put up front with your mother. Do it diligently without traces, without doubt. Look, I'll handle my mother, all right? That's not a problem. I know you won't handle her. Of course I can. You will. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Good. What if things don't turn out as we planned? And more importantly, if the reverse was the case, we should do the same for you. Now I'm officially confused. Look, I trust you. You trust me? Yes. I think I need to take some fresh breath. Look, I'm sorry about my sister and everyone, okay? I know I brought you into all this mess. And you know we all have our shortcomings. Look, I really don't want to upset you and... I, I want to abide by your rules. You don't? No, I don't. But if you can do that for me, for her, I'll be very happy. We have to consider the risk involved. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I trust you, and I know you'll play fair. Your mom loves your sister more than she loves you. And anything could happen. What if something goes wrong? How do you think we can, we can withstand your wrath? Well, I, I, I don't care about that. Let's just see no evil, hear no evil, and say no evil. 
Han. Please, I have never been this beggarly. Look, we need to have a bargain. Okay, whatever it is, anything, just tell me. Anything? Anything. Annabelle is here. I didn't know I was going to be partying with Downers. Come on. No, you're welcome. Thank you. You know, you don't have to feign a smile because it makes you look old and your face fat. So, where's Prince Charming? Um, somewhere around. <laughs> ah, okay. Have you seen this? Oh my god, mom. Mom, wait. Are these real diamonds? <laughs> yes. And it's the gist I've been trying to share with you. I can only imagine. <sighs> Congrats, mom. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, I should be the one congratulating you. Mm hmm. For 32 years of existence with nothing to show for it. Oh, you know, at this stage, I really don't care if you marry a corpse. Just get married and be Mrs. Somebody. Mom, come on, be nice. Oh, please show me the way to the party. There's no party. At least there's something to drink. Oh, please guide my things jealously. I hope you have poison in the house. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Mom, this is um, this is Josh. I know already. Hi, cupcake. Hi, ma'am. Um, I am very privileged to meet you. I have particularly waited for this day. Oh, bless your soul. <laughs> so, how did you get this handsome? Whoa. Uh... <laughs> Let's say I was born this way. Ooh. <laughs> Am I not lucky? Yes, dear. You've always had good taste in men. Oh, don't we look good together? Your match was made in heaven. Now, let's see. The wedding invite is going to be caramel wet cupcake. Mm. Ah, isn't that sweet? <laughs> I like that. She's an awful mother we don't wish for others. We'll just have to tolerate her. One more day in this house with her, and I will lose my headsets. Then avoid her. Avoid her? When I stay in the same roof with her? Look, this drama is not going to last forever, you know that. Hold on. I heard she got engaged to some dude. Who the hell was that? <laughs> Look, that girl has been married twice this year. That girl? That girl. Is she not the alpha mother we have? <laughs> that woman has been married twice, and we're still single. She must be really hot. She is. <laughs> oh my god. And they must be miserable. <laughs> Such mother. <laughs> I know why. I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine that. <sighs> so, tell me, what do you do? Oh, my eye. I, I run a chain of restaurants in Hydro area here in Vegas. Oh. Then I'm lucky, because I might be needing your services. Oh yeah, I, I know, for your daughter. <laughs> no, for me. It's for my wedding. Oh, you think I'm too old to walk down the aisle? No, 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 I mean, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Look at you, you're wearing couture and uh, your hair. 
your personality, your disposition. I mean, which man would want to marry you? <laughs> yeah. I must say you, you have eyes for good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. My daughter is lucky to have you. Mm, well. <laughs> Pardon, I'll tell you what. If my daughters are putting much tact like I do my love with you, they'll be getting married twice every <laughs> year. Hey, hey, mind if I join in your no, judgmental no, no. conversation? Uh -oh. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't being judgmental. I was only trying to size up your man. <laughs> Honey, your, your mom is a trendsetter, trust me. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Feliz? Stop following me. Feliz? Stop following me. I say I, I don't want to date you again. I cannot date someone Feliz. I don't Feliz. trust. Ah. Why do you think I'm lying to you? Because of you, I almost lost my job. And you're still here lying. Okay, what did you tell my mother? Uh, I was on my own no, in my house. Crossed my leg and was meditating on the Holy Scripture. When you came and said your mother wanted to see me. And I went and after we've agreed to make money off her. You know what? Just stay on your lane. Me, in fact, I'm already on my lane. I'm not doing it again. Bye bye. Don't get away yourself. So, tell me more about the restaurant business. Yeah, it's doing really well, although it's, it has its challenges, but you know, I okay. keep pushing. Hey. 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 Isn't anyone hungry? Uh, well, I'm not much of a foodie. In order to keep this perfect shape, I do more of wines and cocktails. Mm -hmm. That's quite healthy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, do you do red or white wine? Both. Preferably cocktails. <laughs> Mom, so um, we have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. You haven't told me about those two gentlemen outside. Oh, those. They are my driver and bodyguard. Whoa, well, you have a bodyguard? Yeah. My man is afraid of losing me. <laughs> Aren't you just lucky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Oops. Lest I forget. Jonas is also a muscle. And he has magic fingers. <laughs> Get away from the car. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some mom I have. <laughs> you know, I don't envy you at all. But seeing your mom just makes me forgive you of all of your sins. Really? Because now I can tell where you got all of those saucy sarcasm from. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Josh? Yeah? Can I have a little moment with you upstairs? Hey. Okay. Alright, sure. <laughs> Madam go upstairs with Auntie Annabelle's boyfriend. Annabelle has a boyfriend? Yes, ma. Who? Ah, that tongue. We get plenty of beer. beer. You better stick to your job. Else you lose it. Do you understand me? Yes, ma. You are a good actor, I must commend. Oh, no, I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. This is all unscripted, but you're acting like you've been rehearsing for forever. Well, I take the energy from your family. I take the clue and I just follow the flow. My mom can be a piece of work, but honestly, I don't regret having her as a mother. I know she can be a handful. But then again, I mean, she's quite entertaining with all the drama. She is. But it seems like you're having fun while keeping numb. Bad. 
You know, honestly, I'm really sorry for not letting you know how curious she can be sometimes, but it looks like you have it all under control. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. <laughs> thank you. I really can't thank you enough. It's okay. That's what families do, right? They stick out your neck for each other. Yeah, where is my love, your sister? I think you've lost sight of her. I think she's probably around the house somewhere. Better be Wait, thank you. Honestly, thank you. Once again, thank you so much. Hey, Mom. Hi. So, where have you been? I've been out with my man. <laughs> I see you're big on this one. Do you allow your housemate drink during walking out? How do you mean? So now later it's going to be obvious. She's tipsy. Tipsy? How did you notice? Okay. Because you talked about food, so I went into the kitchen to see if I could find you. And when I didn't see you, I asked her after my favorite couple, and she said you went out with Annabelle's boyfriend. Like you said, she is tipsy. And of course, I'm going to make sure I put her in check. Good. So, how did you two meet? Who, the maid and I? Yeah. You and Cupcake. Right, me and Cupcake. So, um, so we met in a restaurant. Restaurant? Apparently, one of his restaurants, I guess. <laughs> he tells me he's in that business. Mom, let's talk about you and your man. Yeah, that's him. Tumba has two wives already. Which means you're going to be a third wife. Yeah. But he's going to make me the first. <laughs> <laughs> Truthful lies. How is that even possible? After I give him a male child. A son? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's hold on, mommy. Wait. Mom, you're 60 already. Your last child is 30 today. Your wound is blocked, sealed forever. It's, no, that's not even happening. Oh, please. Don't you believe in medical miracles? I'm terrified. Is he blind? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, okay, don't get me wrong, mom. I mean, you look young, you're beautiful and all of that, but 35? Did you tell him you're 35 or he thinks you're 35? Then I look 35. Wait, so if you're 35, then who am I to you? You're my daughter. But when we walk out the door, you're my friend. <laughs> right. Everyone tells lies. Thank you. Thanks for giving me access to, uh, to your pool. Swimming is a great exercise, you know? <laughs> well, that's what the pool is here for in the first place. So, um, you're welcome. Welcome to my birthday. Birthday with no party. <laughs> you have fun. 
okay? All right, thank you. Uh, come here. I know that many are mad and few are Roman. Did you or did you not tell mother that Josh was Annabelle's boyfriend? Eh, uh, I tell her. And is that part of your job description? Madam, it was after she asked me where you were. Right. So your answer to that was Josh was Annabelle's boyfriend. Is that the answer to our whereabouts? You know, I've taken a close look at you and I've realized that you like gossipy conversations. And guess what? The next time this happens, I'll send you back to the streets where people like you live. Madam, no vex. Sorry, ma. I won't do it again. Get out. Yes, it is. Thank you. It's very beautiful and quiet. That's why I live here. <laughs> mm. So, um, how close are you with my mom? We are very close. By very close, how do you mean? Well, I take her through her, um, through her exercises and I stop at nothing to make sure she looks twice younger than her real age. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm based on what I do. Wow, I can see you also have bragging rights. <laughs> Jokes on you. Um, my mother tells me you have magic fingers. Well, I will say good news travels fast. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Um, nothing for now. Okay, let's leave it at that then. Thank you. Thank you.
You can't afford luxuries when you can barely afford necessities. Annabelle. So what have you been doing with your life for 32 years? Being alive and uh, I can't complain. Oh, please. You have to complain, darling. Complain to God. Maybe God has completely forgotten about you. Look at your sister. She's doing so good, so well. And she has a very rich, handsome boy. But you? Mmm. This cake is really yummy. Although I went through with a cake. Are you sick? I mean, how did you get this old? Mom, why do you talk to me like I'm a lost cause? Would you need a soothsayer to tell you that you're a collateral damage? Mom, can you have some family time with me? Plus, there's a stranger in our midst. No, George is not a stranger. He's asking you for marriage, so he's now one of us. Yeah? Look at me, and I still struggle to survive. But you are 32 years, and you've given up on life already. No, I haven't, mother. I am hoping God will turn everything around for good. So when are you going to just find that little ray of hope? When? When you're 40 and by your graveside, oh, it is a monumental tribulation to be unmarried at your age. Mom, well, I'm just going to ignore all your insults. After all, you've been doing that since birth. I mean, I am not going to be moved by any of that. Go ahead and insult me. Ridicule me in the presence of your guests. Just because I'm not a half past this and I'm not a child. Betty never had an easier upbringing. And yes, you're not half past. That's why I believe the nurses would have swapped my biological daughter and replaced it with someone else's child. At least there should be physical resemblance um, I, I'm sorry to intrude, but you both look a lot alike. Oh, please, Josh, stop patronizing me. Stop making her feel good. <sighs> well, maybe that didn't come out right. But you all have that strong zeal to be successful in life. You all are beautiful and smart women. Oh. Is that why she's still underachieved at 32? Anne, I'm sorry, but she's my daughter, so I have to tell her the truth. Please, I'm used to our humiliations. Come on. You shouldn't share the tears for marrying two husbands. Why should I share the tear for her? I am going to stand up against her. What does that mean? I am going to fight one day and look her straight in the eyes and mock her for being a polyandrous. Yes. She is? Of course, how else would she have given birth to a black child and a half-caste? 
so that she will know that she's not the only one who is caustic. It is another thing to insult me and humiliate me and ridicule me privately, but to insult me in the presence of my man? No. No, no. I am not. Yes. You're the one I dream of becoming. You're strong, enthusiastic, zealous, you're unbreakable. You've gone through so much in life and you still have your self-esteem, your essence. Wow. Thank you, those are sweet words. Thank you. But I'm sorry, I'm not going to stay in the same house with a woman who already calls me every chance she gets. I'm not. Oh, come on. I want you to stay here with me. Like you said already, you're immune to her abuses. Oh, please. It is easy for you to admire me from far because you don't see how much I feel in my heart whenever she reminds me of a no good that I am. Listen to me. Look. I might be a slave queen, get all the freebies because I'm mixed race and even pretend I'm rich when I'm not. But Anne, I would do anything to trade lives with you. I so badly wish I had your simple lifestyle, but mom set up such high standards for me without even minding how I can achieve it. And if mom says to me or does to me half of the things she does to you, trust me. Not only would I be self-destruct, but I'll destroy her. Well, it seemed to me like you enjoyed the humiliation. Enjoy the hum- Are you crazy? How? Why would I? You're my sister. I love you to the moon and back. You're my role model, not even my alpha mom. Are you trying to pep me up? You're a woman I want to end up becoming. I've watched you power through life without breaking. My neighbors call me the cat with her flies. You are not nice. We are not nice. But can you at least cut Anne some slack? Oh. Are you saying she deserves some accolades for being a lazy Nigerian youth? Now listen. When life does terrible things like this to you, there are no rules as to how to fight back or to overcome it. There's no reason to be poor. I think you're just really being very harsh on her. I'm her mother. It breaks my heart to see that she's living below standards. Mom, Annabelle might be a few fingers short of a high five, but I revere her. What are you saying? I'm saying that she might not be rich, but she's real. And I like that about her. Exactly what are you saying? I am saying, Mom, I think she's a strong woman and I consider her my role model. Why are you sitting here? I thought I said we should go. No, we stay. And there's a reason I'm, I'm unaware of. We don't run in the face of trouble. We stay and face and fight it. Listen, I'm tired of you being humiliated by your mother in front of me. It leaves me with no prestige. Are you sure you Yes, I mean, she's my mother. She's not happy the way things turned out for me. You know, but... Regardless, let's look at the brighter side of life. I think we should stay and fight. Sure Baby, are you sure you're going to be okay? I'll be fine. We'll be fine.
Oh yeah, was. Hello, Betty. Please come. I want you in my room. I'd like to have a talk with you. Okay. All right then. Thank you. What's over called? So I have to go back. Besides, you sleep too well last night. Sleep last night. Well, that's because you had way too much alcohol last night. No, thanks. Anyhow, uh, Betty, who else is having sex in this house apart from you? What do you mean? Yeah, there was so much noise coming from this other room, this one for this room well this room is actually Andrew and Jones's room Andrew and Jones <sighs> In God's name is happening here. Did you guys have a pajamas party or something? And where's Josh? He didn't sleep with you? Oh no, he did. He slept in the room. But he went to Annabelle's room to speak with her about your humiliations and all. But you know, Jones came to uh, give me a massage. A massage? Yeah. Good morning, Rosie. Rosie? You call my mother by her name? She prefers to be called Rosie. Right. <sighs> okay. All right. You, Andrew, and you, Jones, get dressed right now. We're going back. Now! Great weekend, I must say. Ah, uh, Betty, thanks for hosting, and you, Josh, thanks for coming. I'm sure you two will make a wonderful couple. Yeah, I'm um, sure we will. Um, Mom, you look good, and it was nice seeing you. Yeah. Thanks for noticing. Ah, uh, you cupcake, please take care of my daughter. She means the whole world to me. Oh, wow. Well. I will. I mean, I can go to hell with your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, please give my love to Otumba and tell him I'll be seeing him soon. Yeah, thanks, we do. And Josh, once you pick a date, you let me know so we can start planning for the wedding. I'll keep that in mind. So, Neil, and let me bless your union. That won't be necessary, Mother. Annabelle, I'm trying so hard to like you. Believe me, I'm trying very hard to like you. So please, let me like you. Since when does your opinion count? Hmm? Ah, uh, so. 
Betty, this is no longer funny. Say something. Uh, my hands are tied and I'll untie them for you. Ow! Okay. Is that enough? That you have chosen the wrong path. The path of penury. You think you're enjoying this happily? Huh? Must you exhibit madness? How dare you undo this? Because. Because, mother. Because I am about to break your heart right now. Um, Annabelle, stop it, okay? I thought we had a bargain. I have no bargaining with you. You can't just, just stop all this game you're playing already. Like it's hurting me to my marrow, the witness is turning out. Okay, mom, so this is it. Um, Josh isn't really my boyfriend. He's Annabelle's boyfriend. But wait, he's poor. Yeah, very poor. I mean, like, disgusting. Is that what you say, you ungraceful daughter of Jezebel? Now listen, I might be poor, but I've got prestige that you borrowed and it almost paid off. Oh no, this must be a dream. All the chains of restaurants, the composition. Shit. You're too handsome, you're too classy for Annabelle. Really? Well, unfortunately, mother, the daughter whom you despise, whom you hate so much, has a man. While your favorite daughter, the apple of your eyes, got dumped on her birthday. How about that? Excuse me, Annabelle. Please do not ridicule my misfortune. And FYI, I wasn't dumped on my birthday. It was a day to my birthday. Oh, well, let the blame go around. <laughs> it is... All of this is true. Then Josh, you must be a very poor man. <laughs> because birds of a feather, they flock together. And you, what? What are you doing in the midst of poor people? Excuse me. Where are you going to? To pack up. I mean, to pack up the pieces of me left. We don't belong here. We don't. Let's go. I'm sorry, I feel like I dragged you into this. I mean, it's sad that those you could take bullets for are usually the ones behind the trigger. Well, it is what it is. You think so? You're a stranger here, can't you see it? I am not a stranger, they are my family. Oh yeah, keep saying that to make yourself feel happy. But you're a stranger. Look, good or bad, it is what it is, so... Maybe take it or leave it. You're a total stranger. Can't you see you're not half cast? My mother isn't half cast either. Josh! Mother, I'm so sorry to have to bring you down like this. If you were having problems with your relationship, why hide it? Why do you have to flaunt someone else's man while you are sad? That is suicidal. How did you turn this way? Because, Mom, I've always wanted to please you. I try so hard to please you. You told me I'm a reflection of yourself in a very good way, and you set such high standards that cost me a fortune to fit in. Why? I'm so sorry for giving you the wrong signals. You have your life, I have mine. We have two different destinies. I didn't say imitate me. All I said to you was emulate my good deeds. You didn't have to impress or please me. You don't owe any apology 
or how you choose to live your life or how you turn out to be so long as it is right with you. Then why do you humiliate Annabelle like that? Why can you not accept her for who she has become in life? Does this have anything to do with her skin color? Oh no. It's like her. This has nothing to do with skin colors. Besides, I am black myself. The only thing I dislike is the fact that she has given up on herself. The fact that she's comfortable with the way she is. That's the only thing I dislike. After all, she's my daughter. Regardless, I love her as my daughter. So why don't you tell her, Mom? Why don't you tell her how much you love her? Why don't you use this opportunity to tell her how much you love her? For all you know, this might be what she needs to succeed in life. Um, thank you. Well, I love you. My dear, please come closer. I need to talk with you. Please. Please. Annabelle. Truly, I am sorry for everything. I am sorry for the downing remarks, the humiliations. I am so sorry. I, I love you. You are my daughter. My only problem with you is that you've decided to give up on yourself. That is the only issue. I want you to know that your sister here today has made a very vital point that love is all we need as support system. Only thing is, I dislike the fact that you have given up on yourself already. No. I never give up on myself, mother. I was just struggling and, you know, waiting on God to crown my efforts. I... Annabelle, I am I'm so sorry about the nasty things I said about your boyfriend. I honestly think he's an amazing guy. And I do believe in the two of you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. And I'm sorry I couldn't keep up the act any longer. It's okay. I understand. Um, Mom. So, um, so I have something to tell you. Yes. Annabelle is engaged. Yes. But she was so embarrassed to show off her engagement ring because it doesn't have a rock on it. No, Annabelle. It doesn't really matter whether it has a rock or not, so long as it's sealed with love. See, don't you ever give up on yourself, no matter what. Your self-esteem matters a lot. And Josh, I want you to please take care of my daughter. Thank you for everything, and I'm also sorry for everything, yeah? Um, I'm going to invite you all when I get to Ibadan after I've spoken to Otsumba. Yeah? Thank you all for accommodating me. <laughs> With all my excesses. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Josh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank you guys for truly, everything. there's nothing like love.
till weekend. Great birthday, I guess. So on my 30th birthday, I reconciled my mom and my sister. Even though I lost my boyfriend of three years. But hey, the most important thing is I got my family back together again. Love always leads. Family is definitely one sure thing. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Wait, I didn't give you my number. Mom! Sweetheart, he's a great guy. Look beyond his immediate status. He's a promising young man. Why are you speaking for him? Boy, you know that I'm willing to take every risk that comes with that. Wow. Wow. Is that all you can say? Okay. I, I like you too, I guess. <laughs> I work for your mom, and I'm sure she can give me another weekend vacation with you. I'll give you a month. Mom! Hasn't this been a great weekend?